Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hi everybody, what's up? Today I figured I would give you guys a room tour slash a bookshelf tour because I am moving in a couple of days to my new apartment and don't worry, I will definitely be giving you guys an apartment tour when it's all done obviously but you guys have been requesting a room tour and a bookshelf tour for months now and i figured that it would be a perfect time to do it now before i move i'm gonna try and tell you guys as much as possible where the stuff that i got from like where it's from and everything but they don't have links to any of it um so yeah <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with the room tour. Also, please ignore my grout fit today. I'm currently reading It Ends With Us, and that's all I've been doing today. I'm in very much lazy attire today, so don't pay attention to that. So this is my door right when you walk in. I usually like to keep some hats and also my little bag on the back of this. But then when you look this way, my bed is sitting up there. I have my cubicle and TV stand, and then the bookshelf and then my desk and then to this side there is like a literal full length mirror this is my closet and basically you just open it and it runs in these little track pads here my closet's a mess let's not look at it <laughs> but yeah there's a full huge mirror and i really like this mirror because it opens up my room entirely like it just makes my room feel very big and just complete it's my favorite thing in my whole entire room probably but um then I just have my towels hanging up here from that thing that stops the door. <laughs> okay, so my desk. Um, I got this desk from Amazon. It's probably the best thing ever. It has two shelves on the side of it on this side. And down here, I just keep some books from classes that I have to sell. And then just some random notebooks and whatnot. This shelf is super, super random and messy. I have a mask right here that has my school on it. I have a radio that I use at the drive-in. An old piggy bank that I don't use anymore. And then just some random candles and stuff. Half of these are like empty, but... And then on top of my desk, like right above it, I have this little clip-on fan that um, I use because... It gets kind of hot at my desk sometimes and I don't really want to turn on my actual fan. So this one's pretty nice. And then back here, I just have my Alexa. Alexa, stop. <laughs> I have that right there. I usually like to play my music and podcasts from that if I'm like doing stuff. Really, really love it. And then I have this lamp that <laughs> I had at GVSU. It literally has no bulb in it. I just put it there because I thought it looked nice. And then on this side of my desk, this is pretty much what my whole desk looks like. I got this chair from Amazon, I think. I'm pretty sure. Also on this side of the desk, there are three shelves. Um, there's nothing in this bottom one. I usually leave it open for my cats because they like to crawl on little spaces in my room. On this top shelf, I just have a journal that I write in. This is my book journal, which I will be doing a video on how I book journal sometime soon. Just another notebook, and then I have my daily stoic. I also have my iPad charger, a random hair tie back there, and then a calculator, dry shampoo, and then sunscreen. And then on this shelf, I just have this random like cat puzzle game. And then these books that I'm looking to possibly donate or sell. And then my mom, <laughs> my mom found this at like Myers or something. And it's like a puzzle game, but Criminal Minds edition. And then under my desk, there's just this little outlet thing, the jig. I also keep my trash can over down here. This pillow is actually like a throw pillow for my bed, but I used it as a like sitting pillow because why not and then this is the top of my desk i got this little thing it's like it removes and everything i got this from amazon it is the best thing in the entire world especially because i put a lot of stuff on my desk and i feel like i never have enough space for it so this helped tremendously i like to keep my necklaces that i wear the most and also my rings and a few little crystals under here it's just random like editing and like stuff i also keep my medication up here as well so that I remember to take it. I have some perfume from a sponsorship a while ago, some snacks. This thing right here, Aiden made that for me last, um, I don't even remember when it was, but it's like a whole jar of like these little pills, so to say, and inside of them, it has, I think like 50 reasons why he loves me or something. So I've kept that and it's very cute. <laughs> and then I have a little pencil case and all that. 
I keep my makeup, like all the makeup that I like majorly use behind here. And then I also have this little mirror here to do my makeup. Although I usually use this mirror to do my makeup or I'll sit right there and I'll do my makeup, but yeah. And then up here, I just have some chapstick. I have a lighter for these candles. These are both I'm Dean. That one I haven't lit in forever. And then that's me and my great, great grandma who uh, used to live in New York. Uh, she's passed now, but thought it was really cute, so I kept that there. And then on top of my desk, I just keep my iPad and a bunch of editing stuff, my laptop, and then I keep a random stack of books on my desk at all time, and I don't know why, is pretty much my desk. Um, this little space next to my desk is kind of like a random corner just to like put stuff in I have this little basket that I keep, you know, just like extra Seasonal blankets in I used to keep my joy pillows in here and also the blanket that I used for Christmas and stuff like Christmas Decorating on my bed and whatnot, but I just have a random pillow in there and then also my backpack back here I have my tripod for filming and then I also have my ring light for filming back there I have a random poster that I think I bring to my apartment to hang up somewhere and then i just have this guitar it was actually my sister's guitar for her birthday but she doesn't know how to play guitar and she doesn't also play guitar so i took it and she was completely fine with it so all right and then next to here we finally have my bookshelf the long-awaited bookshelf that everybody has been wanting to know about i do have a video about me building this bookshelf and whatnot i did get this bookshelf from ikea it is the billy bookshelf i love it so much these shelves you can adjust with um the little holes on the side here so it doesn't have to look like this you can adjust it but i figured this was the most maximum amount of space so yeah i also got that plant from ikea that is aiden's ukulele but i've had it for like two years now so it sits up there <laughs> the very top shelf of my bookshelf is my romance bookshelf i have all of l kennedy's books because we love l kennedy in this house we have penelope douglas lauren asher um casey mcquinston and then we have the addicted series that is also my selenite um crystal thing and i usually put that as like a book stopper i did get twilight I did get Twilight. I got it for $5 off thrift books. <laughs> so I got that and then I just have a uh, little life standing right here. I don't really know where I wanna put those yet. And they're also coming with me up to my apartment. So I don't really have to worry about organizing it right now. <laughs> the next shelf down is my kind of murder mystery thriller shelf. I have all of these. I've kind of read most of them. And then I also just have some random tabs right here. I have a little angel that has my little birth month on it. And then these are witchy books and then all my crystals and whatnot. The bookshelf down from that is pretty much all like fantasy series. Uh, you have, you know, classic Hunger Games and Maze Runner. You have the Grishaverse and then Victoria Swab and then Madeline Miller. Pretty much this entire shelf and all the shelves down here are all series and fantasies because I want to try and keep them together as much as possible. Down here I have all of my Harry Potter books as well as Sarah G. Mass and just some random kind of books down here. That plant is also from Ikea. And then this shelf has most of all of my book of the month sponsorship books that book of the month has given me and then just some few random like standalone books. And then that's my little squishy Thingy. This bottom shelf is exclusively for my cats because they like to climb on my bookshelf, but I don't want them climbing up here and like knocking anything down. So I gave them two pillows down here to just rest and that's... My cats get a shelf on my bookshelf, so they're spoiled, as you can tell. Next to my bookshelf, I have this small little space and I just put my fan right there and also like a one of those like air freshener things that plugs into the wall. It smells great. Next to that, I have my cubicle. I got this cubicle from Target. It was very inexpensive. I actually built this by myself um, a couple years ago because I got it up at my GVSU place. So there's the cubicle. Those the little cubicle boxes actually aren't from Target. Those are from Amazon, um, but the cubicles from Target actually fit the entire thing, and I'm actually going to go back and get those. These boxes just kind of have some random things in it. This top one has hair stuff. This bottom one is pretty much like a junk drawer. Like, it's, it's random. And then this one just has some folders, bank information, whatnot. This one is a freaking mess. It's just wires and cords everywhere. It's, I call it my electronic drawer. And then this one is full of like medication, like medicine and whatnot. And then I have my switch right there. And then my TV is up there. And then behind it, there's actually just 
a multiple plug-in thing. I have my projector that kind of projects that thing on the ceiling. It looks better at night. Got this from Amazon, love it so, so much. And then next to my cubicle, I just have my little laundry basket. And then I usually just keep random chocolates up here on this side. Um, don't ask about it. This little bedside table, bedside table, so to say, is actually a chair from my um, kitchen. <laughs> I don't have a bedside table in here and mainly it's because it's a really awkward way that my whole bed fits. My bed is like literally right up against the windowsill. So it'd be kind of weird to put like something there that's like higher than that. So I usually just borrow this and put, you know, anything that I really need next to it. I charge my phone, my watch, my drinks, I charge my, that's not a thing. <laughs> Under my bed, I usually just use for storage. That is my yoga mat, old computer, and just um, heating pad as well. This bedding is from Amazon and it's just basically pleated. I'm pretty sure there are more colors than just white, but I just wanted to get white. This blanket is a fuzzy blanket. It has, it's like a two-tone side, I guess. My boyfriend's mom got me that for Christmas and then body pillows. I also got that lightning bolt from Amazon as well. And then of course my lights, my LED lights that go all around my room. That is pretty much my entire room. My room is pretty decently small. Um, not that I'm complaining or anything. I actually really love my room a lot. I think it's like the perfect size. It's able to hold everything that I need in here, my bookshelf, TV, bed, everything. It's literally the perfect room. I love it so much, so. It's a little sad to be leaving this room in a couple days, but I'm very excited to decorate my new room and start a new chapter in my life because that is so fun to do. Yeah, this is my room. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video and I know how long awaited the bookshelf and room tour has been. So I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, I am gonna be doing a room slash apartment tour when I'm fully moved in. It probably won't be for a couple of months maybe, but I'm definitely gonna be doing one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye guys. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get to stay. Cause I got it like that, always in my own bag, never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry on.